All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Joe. I am the Learning and Development Coordinator here at Badzoogle, and I'll be giving the webinar today on how to build a professional website for your music. So let's get started. Let's get right into it. Hopefully you do enjoy the presentation. If you do have any questions afterwards, because this is recording, I so won't be answering your questions live, but do feel free to contact our friendly support team through the help tab in a Banzigle account or directly at banzigle.com. You'll see a little chat bubble down at the bottom to speak with somebody on the team, and they'll be more than happy to have a talk with you and answer any questions that you might have. So to start with, let's talk about what is Banzigle. So Banzigle is a direct-to-fan platform. So what does that mean? It means that musicians can easily build a website and sell their music completely commission-free. Banzigle does not take a cut of any sales directly to your fans, and you can cut out the middleman, so to speak. So if, as opposed to using a service like an external service, like Spotify, like Bandcamp to get your music out there, um, or Apple Music, you can sell direct to fan through your site and keep 100% of your profits. Founded back in 2003, so we've been doing what we've been doing for quite a long time at this point. And currently we power over 60,000 websites for musicians around the world. What are some of the features that you get with a Banzoogle account? So you get a free domain name and web hosting. This is included with all our plans. So you don't need to have to purchase a domain name through somebody else. There's no extra fee for getting your .com, your .net, your .org address, whatever it is that you're looking for. That comes free with all our plans along with hosting. It's all included. Commission-free merchants and sales, like I just said. So all sales that you make, whether it's digital downloads of music or whether it's physical merch, it's all completely commission-free. You get extra features like a gig calendar and ticket sales. So you can actually sell e-tickets to any upcoming events that you might have through a calendar feature directly with us. And mailing list tools that are free and included with any Benzigal account as well. So you can collect mailing list subscribers and you can target them with email campaigns and send out mass emails to all your subscribers. We have great crowdfunding tools like a tip jar and also a subscription feature, which allows you to correct, collect recurring payments from subscribers every month who want to support you. So let's go over some more of our features in a little bit more detail here. So when we look at and we talk about powerful design options, we have over 100 mobile ready themes themes you might know as templates as some other website builders call them so benzoogle is a template based website builder so you choose an overall template an overall layout for your website which you then customize and then start to populate with your own custom content all of these themes are completely free and included with any benzoogle plan so if you have experience with other site builders you might know already that some of them charge for different templates so there is a couple that are free but if you want some of their more advanced ones or some of their nicer ones you got to pay a one-time fee to download it and buy it all of our themes are included with every single banzoogle account all of the themes are completely customizable so as you'll see here you can go through and customize all the colors in some cases you can customize the placement of things like the menu the site logo the site title things of that nature. You can change the fonts, the font size, font colors, so you can really get a customized look for your website that you're going for. And as I kind of alluded to before, we do have an extremely musician-friendly support team. Everybody on the support team does have a history in music. So we are all very, very sympathetic to any questions or any issues that you might be running into and are there to offer any kind of help, support, advice. If you just want feedback on what you've done so far, if you want a little bit of advice on what you can do moving forward, what you could add to your site, or even down to very technical problems, everybody on our support team is fully experienced and fully trained to be able to answer any questions that you might have. For this particular workshop, we are offering a promo code. So you can use the code TAXI15, all one word as you see here. And what that gives you is when you're signing up for a free trial, you'll see a little link under where it asks you for your email. It says, do you have a promo code? Click there, enter in TAXI15. You'll get three free months as well as 15% off moving forward after those three free months. So whichever plan you choose, 15% will automatically be deducted off that cost. So definitely make use of this promo code and go create your free trial, which you can do at bandsegle.com. And you click on the orange, try it free button that you'll see there in the top right corner. 
So let's start talking about four reasons to drive fans to your website as opposed to, let's say, social media. So you might be wondering, well, you know, I have my Facebook page set up. I have Instagram. I, you know, we have a TikTok account as well. So it's like, why do we actually need a website? So here are some things to consider when thinking about why you need a website. Number one is that you own the address. So it's a little slice of the Internet, as we like to say, that you own, that you have full control of and that you can direct your fans to. They'll always be able to find you there. And as number two says, you own the experience. So there's no other distractions. If somebody lands on your Facebook page, there's ads that they see. There's other links in their timeline that they'll see. Similar to Instagram, when they're going to whatever platform that it is, there's a million other things to see on there, not just your profile and your content. With your website, you completely own and control the experience and control what they see, how they see it, and how much of it that they see. There's no design limits, so it's completely under your control. You own the data. So with something like Facebook, with something like Instagram, with something like Twitter, you don't own the data. You have some ability to go in and see what kind of traffic that you're getting. But with your website, you have full control over detailed site traffic data. Where are all your fans from? What site brought them to you? Where are they coming from? Where are they visiting you from? What did they do when they landed on your website? What did they click on? What did they listen to? What did they do? You have all this amazing information that you can take in and work with to continue to build your audience, to form marketing campaigns. It's all there at your fingertips, which you don't have in any other situation. And last but not least, you earn more money by selling direct. By selling direct to your fan, cutting out the middleman, using our commission-free stores, you are exchanging your product, your work, your art directly for money with your fans and completely cutting out the middleman. So that is a massive, massive, massive benefit. Your website's audience. So who are the people that are going to be visiting your website? So potential fans people that may have found you organically through a Google search result, through maybe a YouTube video. So these are people who could potentially be long-term fans of your art, of your music, and might be sticking around. So once you get them on your website, you want to keep them. Uh, Current fans, people who know you and Google you and are trying to find you, they're going to be people visiting your website. And then third, you're going to have industry and or media. So what does industry refer to in this case? Industry refers to Let's say you are trying to book a show at a certain venue and for a specific show, let's say there's a festival going on and the festival organizers, they need to vet you a little bit before accepting your application to play in the festival. They'll go to your, they can go to your website to get all the information they need about you to listen to some of your music, watch some videos, so on and so forth. And also media, if you're being mentioned in, let's say, a review of a festival and somebody's doing a write-up on all the bands that performed and they want information about you, they can go to your website to get everything that they need all in one spot and get all the background information they need to get nice high-resolution photos, so on and so forth, whatever it is that they would need. And also for the potential fans, so going back to the previous slide, number one, What's your story? What do you want to tell these potential fans? When I mentioned that you want to, once you have these potential fans on your website, you want to retain them. So what kind of content do we want to have to really uh, lure in these potential fans? You want to tell them what's your story? What's the background to what you do? What's your history? Um, Put your best song video up front. So that's why on your website, it's always important. And we'll get into this in a little bit later in a little bit more detail. But on the home screen of your website, the home screen being the first page that people see when they land on your website, you want to have like a little summary of really, really important eye-catching content uh, to lure people in. And then from there, they can browse to other pages of your site to get some more detailed content or to get more videos, to listen to some more music, to make a purchase, whatever it might be. So you really want to put your best song, your best video right up front. You don't want to have all your music or all your videos right away on the home page. That can be on a separate page. You don't want to overwhelm visitors with too much information right away, too much content right away. But put, put your best song, your best video forward right away to catch them really and show them what you're all about. And then you want to get them on your mailing list. This is important for potential fans, people coming to your website. Get them to sign up to your mailing list. Uh, there's ways of encouraging that. You can offer a free download with the Benzigo mailing, mailing list sign-up form. So what that does is you can say, give us your email address, sign up to our mailing list to get updates, to get news, and in return, get a free download. Get a free download of a track. Get a free download of our last album. Whatever you might want to include there. 
uh, to be an incentive for people to do that. And once you have them on your mailing list, then that's great. You can let them know of upcoming shows. You can let them know about new merch items, uh, an upcoming album release. You have an ability to contact these people directly. Current fans. So what kind of information do you want to make sure you have on your website to appeal to the current fans? What's new? People who already know who you are, what kind of information do they want? They want to know what's new with the band, what's new with you as an artist. So you can have a little news feed perhaps on your homepage, just with the latest updates. What are we doing? We're going into studio next month, getting the band back together. We're starting to prep for recording, so on and so forth. Oh, we just got its awesome gig coming up in two weeks. We're going to be doing this little tour across the Northeast. Whatever it is, whatever it might be, keep them up to date. It could even be like, hey, look at this awesome new guitar that we got. Look at this new equipment that we got. <laughs> Give them news. People, once they're invested in you, they're invested and they want updates. Uh, blog, that can be done through blog posts. Uh, photo galleries as well. So make sure you know you keep a nice little updated photo gallery to keep people coming back. This can, of course, be done through things like Instagram. Most commonly, you can definitely embed an Instagram feed onto your website as well. So once you update anything on Instagram, it automatically populates onto your website. Limited edition products could be something that you want to show off right away and really promote for your current fans. So something new, an example of a limited edition product could be um, a new special vinyl release, a new pressing that has, you know, special packaging to it, whatever it might be, it has some bonus tracks on um, certain package deals. So bundles that you could be promoting to your current fans, uh, you know, get this discounted price if you buy a t-shirt and a CD or a vinyl together in this package and crowdfunding. So crowdfunding is a big one. It's a big way for people, for musicians to generate income. So you could have crowdfunding options on your homepage as well. Say, so, hey, you know, if you want to donate, if you want to subscribe, almost like a Patreon style using the Benzigal subscription tool and give us money every month in exchange for exclusive content, in exchange for whatever it is you want to offer along with that, you can do that as well. That's great content for current fans. And of course, again, get them on your mailing list if they're not already and you can Encourage that by offering free music in exchange for the sign-up, exclusive content, so on and so forth. And then industry and media. So again, latest news, your latest activities applicable to industry and media as well. What makes you unique and different? So that's one thing when we go back to having a little bit about you for the potential fans. Uh, this applies to the industry and media too. Give them a little bit about you and what makes you different. What makes you unique and within your genre? Again, having the best song and video up front is key for industry and media as well. And then what's called a press kit. So an electronic press kit is a whole other thing. We'll talk about this more a little bit later. An electronic press kit is basically a page of your site you can link to that works as kind of like an online resume that industry and media can look at. So it has a summary, a little bit of a summary of you. It's a one page, some high resolution pictures if they need to use it for a poster, if they need to use it for a website, an article about an upcoming show or a past show. It's all right there. They have some music samples that they can listen to if they're thinking about booking you. Maybe you have a couple of your songs there as examples for them to listen to. So it's a one page resume for your band. That's what we call a press kit or an electronic press kit. So let's look at getting started. What do we do to get started here? What content do you need? So you're starting off fresh with Banzoogle. You've never built a website before. I think this is probably the most intimidating part for people and they start wondering, well, what kind of content do I need to get started and build my website? Number one, you need a great main image. We call this a header image. So when you first land on a website, the header image is the main big graphic that you see right away, the big full screen graphic when you land on a website. This could be, this could function as a background image as well with the content over it. It could be just a full screen picture, depending on the theme or the template that you choose, that'll differ a little bit. But you want a great main image, something professionally shot, something high resolution, high detail. You don't want something blurry, an old kind of blurry picture that was taken with your flip phone back in 2001. You don't want to do that. If you don't have a professional photo for your band, which is normal, not everybody does, not everybody, in, never, not every independent musician has set up and taken some nice pictures. Although these days with smartphones, it's easier than ever to do to take a really, really nice shot. But if you don't yet, that's totally okay. We have t a huge, massive library of stock imagery, fully licensed, professionally shot stock imagery that you can choose from to use as a placeholder until you get some pictures and who knows, you might even love it and just keep that stock image there if it works for you in the feel of your site. So that goes into the next point, professional photos. Your photos, the visuals that you have on your website are key. 
All right. It represents you. Your website is representing your art, your work, your music. It's representing you as a brand. Even if you don't think of yourself as a brand, if you're an independent musician, in a lot of ways you are, even if you're not selling anything, even if you're just performing and you're trying to get people out to your shows and you're trying to get booked on certain festivals, you are a brand and you're selling yourself as a brand because people are coming to see you. So the visuals definitely represent your brand in that sense. You need your music. So you do want to have, obviously, if you're a band, you want to have the music on your website for people to listen to. So you want to have some digital music files ready to go. At Benzigo, we accept MP3, FLAC, and WAVE. So you can have any three of those file types. It'll be accepted into our music players. And if possible, you want to have a video. So again, going back to the visuals and presenting and representing your brand, your brand if you do have a video ready to go, perfect that would be it's an amazing addition to your website and it's highly recommended next you'll have, want to have a little bit of text you don't need pages and pages of text you don't need massive paragraphs of text to have a website but you're going to want to think that you're going to you need a little bit a little bit as a bio something to tell the your visitors to your website who you are and what you do and then if you want to add it some news so some latest updates so on and so forth what's going on with you so going back to the great main image, it should convey your sound and work with your branding. Okay, so you want to also choose an image that pulls focus to the center. Uh, what does that mean exactly? If you have a full screen photo that's going to be the header, the top of your website when people first land on it, let's say you have four band members. As much as possible, you want those four band members to be centered in the picture with a little bit of space left around the outside. Why is that? Um, our websites are responsive, meaning that the content automatically adjusts to the size of the screen that it's being viewed on. So if somebody, if you click and drag to resize your browser window to make a big, small, big, small landscape portrait, uh, the content automatically adjusts to fit inside of it. So the header, the photo is going to adjust to fit inside of it, and it might get cropped slightly around the edges. So you want to make sure that as much as possible, the focus and all the important content on your main image is centered. Uh, with professional photos, you always want to use those as your main header images for any background images that you might have behind the content on your website for promotional photos. So things that might be on your electronic press kit, things that might just be on a photos page on your site as you want them to be professionally shot. Now, what does professionally shot mean? That doesn't necessarily mean you have to go out and hire somebody, but you want them to look good as much as possible. So taken with a good enough camera, you let most smartphones are more than good enough at this point so and taking you know, something that's touched up not too dark you know that maybe the colors were touched up on it a little bit just it's something that looks as nice as possible let's put it that way photos can create a positive or negative impression of your music the visuals are a huge part and as an independent musician you need to think about that the way that you present your brand the way that you present your music is a big part of how people consume it um, i don't know if everybody watching this is as old as I am, but back in the pre-internet days, um, you know, you used to buy an album and the album artwork was almost as much of how you consumed the music as actually listening to the music. You would sit there with the CD jacket or looking through, you know, the front back of the vinyl and all the inserts and those visuals that accompanied the music were all part of it. They're all part of the experience and how you consume the product. So they can definitely create a positive or negative impression of your music. So it's important to work on that part almost as much as not almost as much as you do the music, but, you know, consider it as being something as significant as the music itself. It's all part of your package. So again, we accept MP3, WAVE and FLAC formats for music. Um, you definitely want to add music to the home page. Um, if you have a smart links page with everybody's seen smart links at this point, they're very, it's just a page with a bunch of links to all your different platforms. Um, definitely you want to have music there as well. Have a separate music page on your website to feature that and also an EPK page. For good quality videos, um, if, if again, if, if you are able to have videos, you want some nice good quality videos. Um, these could be live videos, music videos. If you don't have music videos, if you're just starting off, I mean, you could just set up your phone with some nice lighting, make sure it's a nice shot, and you can record yourself doing a little acoustic performance. You can record yourself, um, you know, do, and whatever it is, you can re record the recording process of recording one of your tracks. You can get creative with it. It doesn't have to be a professionally shot music video. It can be you at home just with your iPhone putting together something creative that'll be interesting for your fans to look at. So 
So what kind of text might we want to have? So on your homepage, you want to have a little short intro, definitely who you are, what you're all about. Um, any information maybe about new music, a new album coming out, this is a good place to include it as well. Um, long and short bio, so on the homepage right away, maybe a short blurb, and then a longer form bio on a separate about page, and then some news. So you'll want to choose a website template when you're setting up your site. So as I mentioned before, they're all free, they're all included. All of our templates are mobile ready, so they're responsive. This means that they automatically adjust for mobile. So you don't have to build a separate mobile site. It's included with every one of our templates. Um, customize your design to suit your sound. They're all fully customizable. Why is it important to have a mobile friendly site and why is the responsiveness I just mentioned important? Um, mobile digital media time is now higher compared to desktop. What does this mean? more people are visiting your site from a mobile phone than they are from a desktop these days. So a mobile site is extremely important. Um, E-commerce must work perfectly on mobile devices as well. So if somebody's trying to check out and buy some music or buy a physical merch item, you want that to work seamlessly on a mobile site, which they all do with Banzoogle. Why use a template? You know, instead of designing your site from scratch, it'll adapt, it's fully responsive to mobile, no coding needed, and it's quick and easy. It's just a couple of clicks to choose the one you like and a couple of clicks to test it to fully customize it. What template should you choose? Uh, it depends what kind of main image you're working with. Do you want a full screen image? Do you want one that's a little bit smaller on the page? Depending on the template, it'll determine that. Uh, what kind of menu do you need? Do you want a vertical menu along the side of the site? Do you want a horizontal menu at the top, at the bottom? These are all things that the template will determine. So some quick design tips, let's say colors. So as a general rule, you wanna to stick to three major colors, a primary color, a contrasting secondary color, and then a third accent color. So choose three colors that you're gonna use for your brand and stick to these three colors on your website. Having more than that, um, it just muddles your brand and it muddles the visuals and it makes it look a little messy. So this is a really good graphic design rule as well that's very universal, stick to three, a major primary color that's used more than others, a secondary that's used a little less, and then a third accent color for when you want to add a little pop. And then typography, choose simple fonts. Um, nothing too elaborate, like a handwriting cursive text. Nobody, some people, you know, it might fit a certain aesthetic, but it's harder to read than just a very straightforward, simple font. Um, contrast between your font color and your background. So if you have a black background for your website pages that you've selected when customizing, use a font that's as close to white as possible or opposite. If you have a white background, use a font color that's as close to black as possible to make it just easy to read, easy to see. Keep your navigation easy. That navigation being the menu on your website, don't muddle it with 25 different things. Keep your menu really clear. We recommend roughly eight menu buttons as a maximum and have one clear purpose per page, per menu item, photos, videos, contact, about me, so on and so forth. Keep them simple. Don't overcomplicate things to make your website as easy as possible to navigate. Here are some suggested pages that you can start off with on your free trial. Homepage, about music, shows, photos, videos, store, press kit, etc., etc. On the homepage, you want to have your great header image, a short bio, some music, video, your latest news, and social media links. Um, on your homepage, you want to have a call to action as well. So with this, you want to direct them to do something specific. Join your mailing list, listen to an album or single, make a purchase, watch a video, so on and so forth. Uh, here's an example of a great homepage with a call to action. Join our mailing list, sign up now. Another website homepage example. On the about page, you want to have a short bio there, uh, photos. In your bio, use a quote, mention your background, where you're from. Here's a nice example of an about page using our text and image feature. So a photo with some text next to it there. On the music page, you wanna have some song samples, full discography, lyrics, downloadable track for email, offer music for sale, so on and so forth. Here's a nice example of a music page. On a shows page, have a calendar of events, add live stream, live stream concerts, you wanna sell tickets, show posters, et cetera, photos or video of you, videos of you performing live. Here's an example of a nice shows page. And now we have some photos on a photos page, official promo photos. You can use stock images if you want as well, candid photos, and combine this with your videos page to have a really strong media section. On a videos page, we don't allow for uploading music files directly. So you want to embed from YouTube or Vimeo. Or, or Vimeo. 
uh, rotate the videos out regularly to keep them fresh. And then on store page. So you want to have a full description of each of your store items, images for all the merch items ready to go. Um, you can sell physical items here, albums. You can sell file downloads of any kind that you like. So here's an example of a nice store page. And then finally, a contact page. So on your contact page, you want to have a contact form where they can message you really quickly and easily, a mailing list sign-up form, and social media links. And then the press kit, like I discussed before, this is like a resume for your career, the place for media, uh, bookers, venues to come and get all the information that they need about you. A uh, press kit should include a band bio, promotional images, music video, social streaming links, press reviews, and contact info. And here's an example of a nice press kit page. And another one here. So again, use that promo code. Taxi 15 to get three months free, 15% off. If you do have questions along the way, please reach out and contact our friendly support team. They'll be more than happy to help any way they can. It's been a pleasure. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the presentation and don't hesitate to be in touch. Hopefully you enjoy Banzoogle.